what's up Rick? A quick demo video for you for your 89 Sabres Obi-Wan. This is the Phantom Menace Sabre. Um, got this done early this morning. I got most of the done work last night and then finished it up this morning. Um, you had provided a chassis for this guy. Um, the On the lower part of the chassis that worked just fine. Um, on the upper half that you don't see that holds the switches and your uh, stock V3 in here. That's something I had to go back and redesign. Um, so that took me you know, a few more hours and I went ahead and I finished it up this morning. Um, but this is installed with a Profi V2 shock V3s. Like I said, um, how to get to everything is you just want to unscrew the pommel. And we'll do that real quick. I don't remember if I said this was a removable chassis, but it is. You'll see your speaker right there. I think this is either a 20 or a 22 millimeter speaker. Um, you can just grab your chassis and pull it right out. And then this lower half is the one that you provided. Um, it's got your profi board right here. Um, it's just a snap fit down into the shelf. Uh, this is a stock multi-pin connector. I don't know how many pins are on there off the top of my head, but it, it has the stock set on these. And then of course your um, matching PCB is in there and that never moves, okay? And then um, on the other side, you have your OLED screen and I'll show you that fire up. You have a battery that came with your kit, it's dead. Um, I'll send it back. You just need to charge it. Um, I've got my own batteries here. They're fully charged. So we'll just throw one of these in there for now. You want to make sure that your the negative side of your battery goes towards your board. All right. So these can be a little bit, uh, these battery tabs can be a little bit confusing at times. So just make sure, you know, that little spring tab right there, that's the negative side of your battery. And then you can see your OLED screen working here. It's not going to read very well on camera, but that's the battery meter right there. And um, it's showing it as pretty much full. Um, one bad thing about this, or just, just some unfortunate news, is you sent this with the previous chassis that was installed in it. Um, and you wanted me to grab the sound fonts off that chassis and put them on your new one. I could not, though, uh, because this is your SD card. And it was bent when it came and it would not read. It won't read in the Profi and it won't read on my SD card reader. Uh, there's just no way for me to get to the fonts. So what I did was um, I included a copy of the config file that I used on your SD card, which is something I do anyway, and you can add to that, okay? So I just wanted to show you that on a video, I already sent you a text message about it. I will throw the battery in, snaps in place. This only goes in one way. It is again hard to see, but the upper side of this chassis or the upper half is a smaller diameter and that accounts for that silver piece right there that you see in there, right? So it has to go in a certain way. Find the way it goes in. A little stiff, but not bad. And then it slides right in. Then you go ahead and screw your pommel on. We'll screw this in, lock it all the way down because that's what helps lock in the pins. And then the red button is your activation. The LED is firing up nice and bright. Nice smooth swing. And then your jewel over here, that's your auxiliary. And twist off. That is something that you specifically asked me for. So yeah, it is on there. Um, we'll throw a blade in. This takes a one inch diameter NeoPixel blade and it's uh, super tight in the blade sockets. So I ended up switching to my shorter blade because my longer one wouldn't fit. Uh, I'm still not going to use a blade retention, but the blade socket in these 89 Sabres is closer to a 0.99 inches. And of course your blades come in one inch diameters. So you will need to do some sanding, right? But anyway, we've got the blade in there. Hit activation. We got some nice shine through in all of your glass eyes here the flash on flash auxiliary to get blade lock up you want to hold down aux and hit the saber at the same time Just like that and then let go and it it'll turn off for you um, each of your Sound fonts has a soundtrack. So to get to those, it's just a long press on the activation. Just like that. 
And then it's the same thing to turn them off. Long press, let go and it turns it right off, right? I'll take the blade out of here and then go over taking the uh, battery out. You could hear how tough that thing didn't want to come out. But anyway, we'll un unscrew the pommel. Well, before I do that, well, I'll go ahead and do that. If you ever want to look at your OLED screen while the chassis is inside the Sabre, I noticed that when this came to me, the screw was epoxied into the Covertech so that you could just take the Covertech and unscrew it. And when you do that, it makes it to where this silver piece can, can spin. And there's your OLED screen right there, right? So you kind of have that reveal right there. And then when you're done, just kind of line those up, those holes back up, and you can um, screw in your Covertech again. But after you get that put back on, everything's solid, you can come back over here and pull your chassis out. And then you can uh, grab the battery from right here and pop it out with your fingers just like that. Um, and that's pretty much your Obi-Wan hilt. Let me know if you got any questions. If not, guy, I will try to get this out in the mail to you by tomorrow. All right. Thanks.